In this session, we'll explore how to access Oracle Apex, ORDS and database actions from a private autonomous database securely using the OCI Bastion service. Think of it as a fortress, production database locked in a private subnet. But when an admin need access for maintenance or development, how do you keep the security intact? A jump host was the answer, but at an extra cost and with potential security risks. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure has a smarter solution, OCI Bastion, a fully managed service that provides secure, time-bound access to private resources at zero cost. So how do we connect to an autonomous database securely using Bastion? Let's dive in. The first step is to create a SSH session. Once you're signed into the Oracle tenancy, from the hamburger icon, select Identity and Security, select Bastion to end up here. This will show the Bastion which is already created. On the Details section, we would see the CIDR block we have allowed. For demonstration purpose, we have allowed Cord0. Select Sessions and click on Create Session. For session type, we are selecting SSH Port Forwarding Session. Name your session for easier tracking and management. We'll enter Access for ADB services. Now configure target connection by specifying how the bastion should connect to the target host. Choose to connect via IP address and then we'll provide the autonomous database private endpoint IP. The port will be 443. To authenticate the connection, we need to add SSH public key which I have provided here. Once all these details are provided, click create session. The session is successfully created with the state shown as active and we can click on the actions button and view the SSH command. We will copy it. We have modified the SSH command to specify the private key for authentication. Enable verbose mode useful for debugging. You will see the detailed output of the SSH connection process. Modified local port for forwarding. Traffic sent to local host will be forwarded to private endpoint inside OCI network. The last line user at host includes OCI generated temporary SSH username for the session and OCI bastion endpoint in the region. Now step two is using the SSH command. We will set up a secure tunnel to access the private endpoint. On the command prompt of my local machine, I have pasted the modified command and will execute it. Now we have SSH into a bastion host with a port forwarding enabled. Do not close this window, instead minimize it to keep the session active. The last step is using the URL localhost slash ORDS, we'll access Oracle development client tools and application. Paste the URL and then hit enter. This displays the page for Oracle REST data services. To access the SQL developer web, click on go. Sign in with the username and password. We have successfully logged in. Similarly, we'll access Oracle Apex by clicking on go. Provide the password. and then click on sign in to administration. We have successfully signed in. We will be able to access the services as long as the Windows command prompt and the SSH session to the Bastion host remain active. That concludes our video. I hope the information was helpful. Thank you for watching.